guys. Happy 2020. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but I'm assuming it's in 2020 or will be soon. I just got my sketch box in the mail. I, I got it along with my powerful packs. So today is the day for art subscription boxes. I've already opened up my powerful packs. Let's get into this sketch box. Here's some art. I don't know if this is from last month's box or I don't know. There you go. For those of you that may not know, Sketchbox is an art subscription box that you get in the mail every month. And there is different tiers. I think there's two of them. The Premiere and something else. I, of course, I get the Premiere one. And we get the nice Sketchbox tissue paper this month. I don't believe I've seen that before. Very pretty teal color. Oh, yes. We got a sticker. We always get a sticker. Very cute. With the art of another box on it. This is what we're getting, but we don't want to cheat. And this is their website, so you can go and learn a little bit more about the materials you'll be getting in this box. Um, I go to it every once in a while. I don't know if they give you like little projects or inspiration. Uh, that should, oh, that might be in another card. But yeah, you can go to their website and they'll help you out with the materials and give you a little more info. So there you go. Here is some art done with last month's materials. We got the uh, fluid acrylics. And this is by Todd Saul. Very cool, Todd. His artwork. I keep these and I set them around my art studio. So I guess when I get too many, I'll just kind of rotate them out. Oh, we got another, another Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. So uh, we just got an, a Stonehenge pad in the other box, but this one's black. Yes, I love black paper to do stuff on. I just, It's really cool. It's a really fun surface to work on. So let's open this up. This is also raised. It's like embossed. I mean, the front of it alone just feels neat. But here is the paper, a little bit of texture, very nice weight to it. Let's read about this guy. Legion Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. Retail price is $12.99. This black paper is not a new invention, but is black 100% cotton paper for watercolors. Oh, okay, it's watercolor. As soon as we test this paper, we knew we had to build a box around it. The November wash supplies also work great with this unique paper. Well, maybe we'll include some of those in this uh, little sketch I'm going to do later on. Hopefully tonight. We'll have to see. So let's keep this out so we can test our fun goodies out on it. I seen a brush. We already knew this guy was in here because it flew out at me earlier. This is silver, silver brush. Let's read about it. Oh yeah, silver brush, crystal three eighths of an inch. Angled short retail price is 510. Very nice angled tip, nice quality brush, perfect. And I'm going to guess, I'm probably gonna use this to test out some other things. What is that? It just says Sketchbox. Uh, it appears to be a metallic watercolor. The imprint is super cool. It looks like water. Dark teal. All right. Let's see. Fine tech. Sketch, sketchbox metallic dark teal retail price $7.99. Exclusive color. We worked with Fine Tech to create a brand new color formulation only available in this box. We love the way this metallic watercolor looks on the black paper, and it can be mixed with other colors to add some shine to our finished art. Neat. Let's see if I can open this without ruining my nails. Shut it. 
No. Ugh. Oh, I just had a hell of a time getting that open, fella people. Jeez. I really... I expect to uh, touch it like an eyeshadow, but it's not. Of course, it's a watercolor. So, let's... Uh, I was smart this month and already brought some paper towels, some water. You never know what you're going to get, but I thought I would uh, be prepared for this month. I have some other metallic watercolors. They're kind of crappy. Hopefully this is a lot better than what I have. Am I on top of that good enough for everyone to see? There we go. I can see the shimmer. It's not the right angle for me to see, but I'm going to hold it up here in a moment once I kind of blend it out. Go in pretty opaque just so we can see that here at the top. Of course, it still is a little wet. You're going to see that shine, but I mean, basically, most of that shine is that metallic. That's a lot better than the crappy ones I currently own. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun. I'm excited. I'm excited about that. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, thank God there's not plastic around this. Whew. Okay, this is Precise, I can't read it, oh, it's a white gel pen, price is $149. So these are good to do highlights, any kind of work, I know it's good for watercolor, but um, I use them in alcohol inks, too. Um, is that dry yet? Kind of. this side's dry so you can go in and put little highlights on top of things you've already done or it's just neat to write on black paper Ooh. So this uh, feels just like your typical gel pen but they're very nice to have especially in white because you can add little details and highlights and things so very nice I might uh, actually need one of those. I think my old one is on its last leg. Convenient, we just got one. Okay, so I see three things left, and these are not the same. So let's start. Actually, let's do the white last. Intense Blue. Phthalo Blue. And this is by Windsor & Newton. A very high-quality watercolor. Let's put a little dab right there. And since I started out being a painter first in life, I tend to gravitate more towards the watercolors and tubes instead of the uh, dry ones. It's just, I can't say why. I mean, when I use the drier, what the ones that come like this, I mean, they work just fine. It's not like they don't work for me. It's just, I always gravitate towards tubes. Isn't that weird? Because I learned watercolor after painting in my youth that I just want to pick this up instead of my other ones in pans. I'm a weirdo, can I say? It's very bright, vibrant still against that black, isn't it? And we'll mix a little white in it in a moment. Here's another Windsor & Newton lemon yellow hue it's probably way too much but i'm making a mess too uh-huh
I got a little too much water in it. But you can see how it shows up against that black. Do a little mixy mixy. Ta da! Okay, now our last little guy in here is from N. Graham watercolor, titanium white. This one is $14.99. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess it's a lot bigger than these. These are $4.99 each, eight mils. This guy is 15 mils, almost twice as much, but it's a lot. Good Lord. $14.99. It's a staff favorite. Titanium white is the most opaque white watercolor available. Mix it with your other colors to add opacity and to brighten areas of the black watercolor paper. For $14.99, it better do a lot. <laughs> oh, it's a lot thicker than the other two. Let me get all this off my brush. All right, so let's go in with not a whole lot of water first. Oh, yeah, that's really thick. A little bit of that goes a long way, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So I don't, whatever you're doing, you barely need any. Let's go up here, get a little blue in it. Grab a little bit of yellow. Yeah, so that was way too much to even put on my paper to test, but you know, I had no idea. All right, so let's hold this up a little bit. We're still, oh, we haven't tried that pearlescent. Well, I'm going to probably try this out here in a moment so we can put this pretty teal on top of these. Now, my immediate thing, I want to do a jellyfish on this black paper, which I always do jellyfish. It's one of my favorite subject matters, especially on black paper or navy blue paper. But I also might do something else just to surprise everybody. But yeah, a little later on tonight, I'm going to go down and play with these materials and I'm going to try to video it and put it at the end of this video.
right, folks, so here is our January sketch box. I think this was another Rockstar box. Very fun materials. Um, I almost canceled my sketch box. Um, I actually thought I had, but I didn't push the right button or something. But I got a box and didn't think I was supposed to get one, and it was a Rockstar box, so I just kept on getting it, and I've been very glad ever since. So if you were thinking about getting it, I'll link the stuff in the description box for you if you want to go check out their website. Well, anyway, guys, Happy New Year. If you like these kind of art subscription boxes, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.